Hi everyone, I'm Rob, the new president of the RES. Um, I've been a member since about 1959-1960. I've taken over until the AGM. I'd like to thank Alan Very for his service as president for the last 13 years and close approaching 30 years service on the committee. I think it's about 28. That must be an all-time club record. Also, at the end of April, we have our current secretary, Bill Much, retiring. Very, um, very sad. He's very capable, very popular. So thank you very much, Bill, for all the hard work that you've done in the last uh, few years on the committee. Uh, Bill's replacement will be Tim Major, who's also, um, he, Tim's been a member six or, or seven years, also one of our Glenbrook staff. He's a fireman, a signalman and guard, and very capable young man. So we've had a, quite a few changes uh, on the committee. And we're here to serve you. We've got some big plans coming up. Let's hope we can pull them off. Uh, can't do everything at once, unfortunately. We do have a trip leaving this Friday. It's going around most of the North Island with uh, the DBR, and it's uh, fully booked. Uh, Tim Kerwin, the general manager at Glenbrook, has some more trips coming up, which we'll be publicising in the next month or two. And my uh, suggestion is that people book very, very quickly, because these trips fill very fast. They're very popular. Also planning some midwinter lunches for members at a very nice hotel in Auckland on Sundays. I'll be announcing that probably at the monthly meeting this coming Tuesday. And something will go out in the next yarn for the next month with regard to booking. So I'm looking forward to meeting people at those uh, Sunday lunches. News uh, from Glenbrook, WW480 is running again. I had the pleasure of driving her on Sunday and Jared had her on, on uh, Monday of Easter weekend. The locomotive is going fine. Uh, big thanks to the workshop staff. Uh, it was a massive job putting, taking the wheel set off, taking it down to ANG Prices and Thames, having it repaired, bringing it back and reinstalling on the loco. It was steamed up on Saturday. It proved satisfactory. It had a, a test run and we had a very good Sunday and Monday with 480. So come out and ride behind your steam locomotive at Glenbrook. Uh, that's all from me uh, at the moment. Uh, have a good month everyone and we'll catch you back next month. The first set of four ex-Auckland Transport passenger carriages have been refurbished at the Hutt Railway Workshops for an inter-regional service connecting Hamilton and Papakura. They made their delivery trip from Wellington to Hamilton on Saturday the 5th of September. 104 carriages were converted from imported British Rail Mark II passenger stock at the Hutt Railway Workshops, including 24 fitted with a driver's cab to allow for a push-pull operation. The first set of three carriages appeared in April 2004 and the first prototype SD class driver control car was in use by October the same year. The new Auckland EMUs began entering service from 2014 and by September 2015 the passenger stock had become surplus and were transferred south to Taumaranui and stored in the once empty yard. DFB 7295 will be part of the train set and has had necessary modifications carried out to operate the carriage doors, driver to crew communication and warning systems. passing the remaining passenger carriages stored at Taumaranui.
the train made several test runs between the two cities for crew training and familiarisation. DBR 1254 and a Glenbrook Vintage Railway crew was contracted by Transdev to reposition two DMUs from Henderson to Pukekohe on Tuesday the 8th and Wednesday the 9th of December. The train consisted of a dead ADL behind the guards van and two additional ADLs for braking purposes. Imported containers landed at the ports of Auckland make their way to the inland port at Wirree on train 169. Train 134 with its load of steel billet bound for Pacific Steel in Otahuhu. The square logs of steel billet are used to make reinforcing bars and rods. Each IP class wagon can carry 61 tonnes of steel, giving a gross weight of 80 tonnes, being the heaviest loads carried on the network. The IP class has a 20 tonne axle load compared to 18 tonnes for the remainder of the wagon fleet. DC 4444, painted in Martinus rail colours, heading to Auckland for shipment to its new owners in Queensland, Australia. A rare visitor to the North Island on the 17th of November was Tunnel Motor DXC 5293 that normally seeks service on the Midland Line coal trains in the South Island. the remains of the disconnected Tikawiti industrial branch in the foreground. A pair of EF cars passing through Mananui in the late afternoon.
of the three long-distance passenger trains, the Transalpine service was reinstated on Saturday the 4th of July and is running on weekends only. At Oterra, four additional DXCs are coupled to the front of train 844 for the climb up to and through the Oterra tunnel. Train X6 departing Hokitika with six empty milk tanks on the rear that will be refilled at Wollaston.
we take a look back at a number of North Island steam hauled excursions from 1990 through to 1999. During the 1990s, there was still a reasonable number of Transrail engine drivers and firemen with their New Zealand Railway steam tickets. The Railway Enthusiast Society ventured from Auckland to Whangarei in April 1990 with JA 1250 and the set of Kiwi Lager Ski Express carriages. Departing from Newland Station and approaching Waitakere Tunnel. Pan Pacific Classic in February 1992 saw J1234 and KA 945 double heading on the spiral. On Saturday the 26th of September 1992, Mainline Steam's coal-fired J1211 headed from Auckland to Hamilton. At Hamilton, DSJ 4017 took over to haul the train to Cambridge, while 1211 headed to Waharoa to be turned on the triangle. The four kilometre section of the branch from Cambridge to Hautapu was closed and removed in 1999.
Rurakura J1211 was waiting to couple onto the train for the run back to Auckland. Mainline Steam's Taranaki excursion ran from New Plymouth to Martin and returned behind streamlined KA 942. Mainline steam ran from Auckland to Rotorua with KA 942 on Sunday the 21st of August 1994. In May 1993, the streamlining was removed in order to recreate the Heroes television series Tangiwai. passing through Walton with the remains of rail sidings to the grain store. An impressive departure through Matamata. The end of the Rotorua branch at Kauutu Freight Terminal. With no locomotive turning facilities at Rotorua, 942 ran tender leading to Waharoa to be turned on the triangle. A servicing stop at Putararu as the daily Silverfern railcar passenger service from Rotorua heads to Auckland. On Saturday the 11th of September 1994, the Rail Heritage Trust's F-163 hauled a train from Palmerston North to Taihapi as part of the town's centenary celebrations. Following behind to also join in for the celebrations was Steam Incorporated's KA-945 that had travelled from Wellington. Thank you. 
On Sunday the 20th of November 1994, KA 942 travelled from Auckland to Whangarei. A photo run by on the Swanson Deviation and climbing to Puni Bank before entering the 340 metre long Ross Hill Tunnel. By this time, the streamlining had been refitted to 942. A side trip for the locals was made from Whangarei to Hikarangi. climbing from Oakley to Mangapai on the return trip to Auckland. After a complete overhaul and restoration at the GVR's Pukiowari workshops, the Silver Stream Railway's C847 ran to Hamilton on Saturday the 29th of April 1995. A combined Steam Incorporated and Mainline Steam Taranaki excursion on Saturday the 19th of October 1995 featured J1234 and KA942. Parting Waverley after a surfacing and water stop.
Climbing the northern side of Westmere Bank and drifting down the southern side. On arrival at East Town, the locos ran around their train and headed down the branch into Wanganui. Photo run by on Westmere Bank, then getting underway on the grade as seen from the cab of 942. Another photo opportunity crossing the Manawapu Viaduct. During Labour Weekend 1996, Steam Incorporated ran a large excursion train to Gisborne with J1234. the start of the 1 in 50 climb from Bartlett to Beach Loop. A photo run by at the fishing settlement of Waikokapu.
at Wairoa. Passengers enjoyed a picnic lunch at the station platform. During the weekend, over 1,200 people enjoyed the thrill of riding behind J1234. In June 1999, JA 1271 ran an excursion from Wellington to Palmerston North. Return journey passing the fertiliser wagons at Kopataroa. During the weekend of the 3rd and 4th of July 1999, JA 1250 ran the Broadway Limited. A number of trips were run from Newmarket, around the waterfront via Glen Innes to Otahuhu, then back over the hill to Newmarket. DSA 551 was one of 15 of the class built by the Hunslet Engine Company Great Britain
between 1954 and 58. It arrived in the first batch of six and entered service in November 1954 for service in the South Island. These 27 ton locos had a maximum speed of 40 km per hour. By 1990, most of the class had been retired except for 551 that had been withdrawn in April 1985 but retained by New Zealand Railways for use as a shunting locomotive for the Kingston Flyer. In 1999, it was trucked to Hillside Workshops in Dunedin to be overhauled and painted in Transrail's Cato Blue livery. It returned to service in Dunedin in 2001 and in 2003 was transferred to the Ravensdown Fertiliser Works at Awatoto near Napier. In 2014, it was sold to a private individual in Napier, who then leased it to the Goldfields Railway. It has taken the group of volunteers three years to return the locomotive to working order. They had to strip it completely to remove years of fertiliser build-up that covered all moving parts. DSA 551 is definitely a valuable asset for the railway. For the past 48 years, Silverfern rail cars have ventured over most lines in New Zealand. The three Silverfern rail cars entered service in December 1972 on a daylight passenger service between Wellington and Auckland. the north and southbound services crossing at National Park. With the introduction of the Overlander passenger train in December 1991, the rail cars were transferred to the Geyserland Express between Auckland and Rotorua and the Kaimai Express between Auckland and Tauranga. They are diesel electric, powered by a V12 Caterpillar diesel engine and capable of 120 km per hour. Each silver fern seats 96 passengers. The cars are sheathed in unpainted stainless steel 
which gives them a sleek modern look. REM 18 arriving at the Old Auckland station with the afternoon service from Rotorua. Both the Geyserland and Kaimai services lasted only 10 years, ceasing in October 2001. The rail cars were then available for charter excursions, such as this one for the Railway Enthusiast Society heading to Taranaki. From 2002, a pair were also used on a commuter service between Auckland and Pukekohe until 2009. The rail cars each received a major refurbishment in Wellington, starting with RM30 in 2008. From October 2012 until June 2019, the Railways leased RM24 for excursions, tours and charters around the South Island. All three silver ferns that had been stored in Christchurch since the end of 2019 have been purchased by the Paihiatua Railcar Society, including spare parts. RM24 on the rear of train 736, heading to Picton, then eventually to its new home. The Paihiatua Railcar Society is now the heritage railcar operator in New Zealand. After extensive track and signalling work had been carried out over the winter months, F-13 hauled the first train of the season at Ferrymead. crossing the recently upgraded track and bridge at Truscott's Curve. While F-13 runs around its train at Ferrymead Station, the station porter operates the tyres tablet machine to obtain the correct tablet for the train to occupy the section between Ferrymead and Moorhouse Station.
On the 10th of November 2018, DE 511 was fired up for the first time in over 20 years after many years in storage. 11 months later, it underwent test runs on the Ferrymead Railway. 511 entered service for New Zealand Railways in August 1952 and was finally withdrawn in February 1988. 511 was re-engined by New Zealand Railways in the early 1980s with an overhaul diesel engine reclaimed from a scrap DG locomotive. Not long after entering service, a number of the class including 511 had side doors fitted to the cab as the original front door would be compromised in a head-on collision when operating cab leading. The union then insisted that the DE should be operated long hood leading so the side doors were removed from 1958 when the locos were due for overhauls. This is what can be achieved by a small team with much credit going to the Diesel Traction Group's youngest member, Peter Weir. Peter receives the tablet for the ferry meet to Morehouse section of the railway. The public running of trains returned to the Weka Pass Railway on the 5th of July after New Zealand moved from Level 2 to Level 1 lockdown restrictions on the 8th of June, topping up the radiator before heading to Glenmark Station and the waiting passengers. The 1950s built Wickham inspection car heads up the line to Waikari with the station staff. Now powered by a Datsun 120Y petrol engine, was originally fitted with an Austin A40 engine. After being closed since March, the Wicker Pass Railway volunteers sprang into action and began inspecting the track, locos and rolling stock in readiness for their first day of operation. The Diesel Traction Group's DE 1429 that normally sees service on the railway's work trains was used to haul the trains. Y Carey Station, 1429 runs around its train. Drifting down Wicker Pass above State Highway 7.
1429 made two return trips during the day and the DE was an added attraction for many passengers.